Hey, hello again. This is Bob with R&D Workshop. Today, uh, we're going to go over the different sizes of Trimus Lab and uh, just an overview so you understand what your options are. Uh, we start out uh, being able to replace a one by size lumber, one by four, one by three, and that is a, a three quarter inch wide piece of lumber. That's the most common for uh, wood used in an expansion joint. Uh, it will generally go all the way up to about a, a two by four, and this here's a two by four. This is one and three eighths wide. So uh, trim slab will be able to go from a one by four replacement to a two by four replacement in three sizes. Uh, you've got your three quarter inch product, which is really, it's an inch across on the top. You can use the sizing guide, which we talk about in another video to determine exactly which size, but we call this three quarter because it replaces three quarter. And uh, you can see this was in here, and now three quarter inch trim slab. We'll press in there, fill that nicely. Um, a middle of the road product is our one inch, and sometimes these joints have expanded and they've drifted apart. There's nothing you can really do about that except fill it. Uh, our one inch product will do the job. Now the one inch product actually um, will fit all the way down to the three quarter inch size. And you can get this in. It's gonna stick up slightly above the surface. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it's gonna protrude slightly, make a slight bump, but it does fit. So if you have a gap that's, that's uh, three quarter inch size on one end and it's opening up on the other end, you can use one inch. Uh, conversely, if the gap is three quarter on one end and it's narrowing down to five eighths, you can use the standard size and go all the way down to five eighths. Now our new product in the summer of uh, 2012 is this uh, two by four size and it's gonna replace a uh, fit in an expansion joint that a 2x4 previously made. Um, this is going to work just like the other products. There's some overlap with the 1 inch size. And so in three sizes, you go from 3 quarter inch all the way up to 1 and 3 eighths. And it actually will go up to 1 and a half. So even if that 2x4 expansion joint has opened up a little bit, you can still use trim slide. And of course, they're available in black or gray. Hey, there's one other thing I wanted to show you. Hey, when you go to the hardware store and you're looking for trim slab or you're getting a mail order, uh, when you order a three quarter inch, it's gonna come in 50 foot roll. A 50 foot roll is gonna be about two feet in diameter. It's gonna weigh about 15 to 18 pounds. And uh, you can see there's a lot of uh, revolutions in this roll. So when you see a roll that, that has 10 or 12 wraps, You've got a 50 foot roll, it'll be three quarter inch. Uh, the larger size product, here's our one inch, it comes in a 25 foot roll. You can see it's only gonna have about five or six wraps and uh, it's a smaller roll. Same diameter, a little bit lighter, it's 12, 13 pounds of roll. So you can still just toss it in your shopping cart, but this is how you'll be able to tell the difference at the, at the roll level if you don't happen to have your sizing guide with you when you go to the store. And there you have it. That's how you can tell your different sizes of trim slab parts.